ChatGPT 4.0 is officially out and it is absolutely mind boggling how much you can do with this new model. For those of you who are unfamiliar, ChatGPT is a large language model that allows you to interface with it and create a bunch of different scenarios, language, paragraph, outcomes, articles, pretty much anything you can think of basically. If you can type it into a prompt, ChatGPT will put something out for you and create something for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a crystal clear idea of exactly how to utilize ChatGPT in your daily business operations and how to make things easier, faster, and better with AI software like ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's get into this breakdown. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with ChatGPT's development, we started with ChatGPT 3.5. This was the original large language model. And even though this was a very bare bones rudimentary model, this was one that had a massive amount of success in the overall marketplace of people utilizing it. As you can see on my screen right here, we're currently inside of ChatGPT 3.5. Now with this specific model, this is great for everyday tasks and it's basically made for people who aren't paying for the full version of ChatGPT. Because of this, most people who get started with ChatGPT are likely using this model right now. One of the main benefits of upgrading ChatGPT and paying for their monthly subscription is that you get access to the better models and the more updated models in the first place. These two upgraded models are ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT4.0, which is another huge improvement model on the original. For the most part of this video, I'm gonna be showing you GPT4.0 and all of the features that you can utilize in side of it. Now, one of the main benefits of 4.0 is the fact that there is an enhanced language understanding model. What this means is that they've taken everything they've done in the previous models and improved upon the understanding of this model when you actually interface with it. To give you guys an example of this, I'll write out a simple command inside of this prompt and I'll show you what the output is. I'm simply going to write, write me a simple ingredients list that I can use to make a stew. Once I've written this out, ChatGPT 4.0 will immediately and very quickly start spitting out a massive detailed list of every single thing you could possibly need to make this stew. This is a massive improvement on the previous iterations of ChatGPT. If I actually go into ChatGPT and change it back to the 3.5 version, you can see that the output is a lot different. As you can see, we're in the 3.5 model. I'm going to copy and paste the same exact question that I had for the last one and hit the enter button. As you can see, this is the bare bones output that it just put out for me. And again, it's still workable. It's still decent, but this is literally night and day compared to the output that we got using 4.0's actual structure when we actually look at the outputs comparatively. Now, this is just one example of a more accurate understanding of language and how to actually process that language into a great output that's usable in the real world scenario. Now, keep in mind, this is the start of a conversation and most of ChatGPT's functions are within actual long running conversations that you can have within it. Now, because I started this conversation with a kind of cooking context, creating ingredients for a stew in the future conversations that I have with it, as long as it's related to food, it will continue to build upon the previous conversation that we had. Now, every model of ChatGPT does this, but 4.0 does this exceptionally well. Here, I'm just trying to give ChatGPT as much details and info as possible, so that way I can see and really test how well it responds to me, especially in the context of cooking here. I'm then going to hit the enter button and we will simply get a very quick response. As you can see here, it said memory updated right here. We'll go back to that in just a moment, but as you can see, this is what the output is now. It's removing all mentions of protein and it's even adding the five budget-friendly dishes that I requested, utilizing all of these different ingredients, which is super helpful. And boom, this is the whole response. Literally in a matter of moments, we had an entire response put out of five different dishes that we can cook, all removed from protein, utilizing the same ingredients. Again, this is one of the best tools you can utilize on a day-to-day -day basis for just simple tasks that you have in your daily life. I don't think enough people are talking about how you can utilize this software in that way. One of the things I wanted to talk about though was that we had this little thing here where it says memory update. As you can see, with this memory updated, it says prefers recipes without protein for their stew and is interested in budget-friendly recipes. This is super important and something that can super helpful for us in future conversations that we have inside of this model. As you can see, we can even go down here to manage memories and manage any of the other memories that we have within ChatGPT. This is incredible because what this means is that the more we interface with ChatGPT, the more information we give about ourselves or about the thing that we're trying to create, the more accurate and better responses that we're going to get from from the language model. This is awesome too, because you can even give it things like allergies, food preferences, specific things that you own in your real life, ideals that you have, dislikes, likes, hatred, even your likes and dislikes can be cataloged here and kept in mind with these responses, which is just so incredible and gives us so much more value in the outputs for this specific language model. Now, one of the really cool things about ChatGPT 4.0 is that they have an integration with their image generation software called Dali. For this specific instance, I'm gonna show you guys how we can actually get started by using 
they're in image software right inside of chat GPT without even leaving this platform. All I'm going to type is generate me five images of these meals. I'm then going to hit the enter button and then it will take a short amount of time to generate the images that I requested. Now with chat GPT's image generator, it is something that still is getting better and better over time. And of course, we're also potentially getting a future version of chat GPT that is going to be hyper realistic video generation, which hasn't come out yet. And we'll definitely make a video about that in the future. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. As you can see, it's now fully generating me pictures of these specific meals with the ingredients that I talked about it wanting to use. And for the most part, these look pretty good. Now, of course, with any AI image generation software, there are going to be blemishes and slight issues here and there. But for the most part, this is coming out exactly as I wanted it to. Now, in general, that's some stuff you can do in your day to day life. But what about a few things you can do for inside of your business? And how can it help you actually grow your business? One of my favorite ways to utilize chat GPT 4.0 in a business context is actually to organize information. One of the things I'll very commonly do is hop in an Excel file and look over my finances or specific spending that I'm doing inside of my business. Just as an example here, this is a random Google sheet that I have for one of the social media accounts that I manage. I then can copy this information, take it over to chat GPT, paste it into here, hit the enter sign a few times and say, organize this info into columns and find the highest performing post. And I basically can just tell it to do that with a few autocorrects here and hit the enter button. Once I hit the enter button, it will take a moment to analyze this and figure out exactly what I'm asking. And it will then by date, give me the exact highest performing posts from this set of data, which I can then utilize to make more informed decisions about the content that I'm posting in my business or specifically how to grow my business even further with an educated, organized answer from chat GPT. As you can see, chat GPT has now output the exact date that I was looking for, the views, likes, shares, comments, conversions. And I even asked it to put it into a table just to organize it that much more. And this is the table even giving me some view analysis so I can view the code if I wanted to put this code straight into a software program or a code writer software. This is just one example of the myriad of things that you can do with this new model. And it is incredibly useful. There's also less limits on the overall amount of output that you can have within your responses. It used to be you could only write 800 to 900 words for your responses, but now you can write upwards of 1500 to 2000 word articles in a matter of moments. Speaking of writing articles, if I wanted to write a completely new article from scratch for my article website, this could be part of your business as well. I can simply say, write me an article about the top five foods to feed my dog. Once I type that out, I then can even specify a word count and say, make it at least eight or 900 words. I'll then hit the enter button and then it will start writing an entire article for me off the fly. And one of the cool parts about 4.0, and this is one of my favorite features, so hopefully you stuck around this far to see this, is that you can access the internet to get even more information. Now, without any weird janky software, ChatGPT 4.0 has full internet access functionality. To show you how this works, all this prompt is being written out, I can simply go down here into the message chat GPT portion and say, use the internet to find more info and expand on this info. I simply hit that. And as you can see, it says searching the web and it will now search a bunch of different websites based on high quality commercial dog food, best food to feed your dogs and a host of other platforms and websites that have information on this. As you can see, it searched six different websites and it even gives me citations and links to those websites that I can access, which I can actually scroll up right here and see those different websites that it accessed. And then it will give me a full output of everything I would need to know about the best foods to feed my dog. And the best part is if I want to plug this straight into my business website, I can do that by getting started with an amazing platform like Hostinger. Hostinger is a incredibly easy website hosting tool as well as a domain hosting tool that you can get started with a little under $3 a month. As you can see, you get 75% off their website builder plus a free domain and it's only $2.99 for their cheapest plan. I can hit this claim deal button, enter which pricing tier I want to go with, add to cart, and then I simply go through the checkout process. And then to get the best possible deal, I simply click this button where it says have a coupon code and enter in the code start up wise in order to get the best possible deal when started with creating my website. I hit the apply button. And as you can see, I now get the best possible discount to get started. And I simply just go back to chat GBT, pull all this info off, and I can put it into my website in a matter of moments using chat GBT and AI to write all of my content for me, making it that much easier. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned quite a bit about what you can do with chat GBT. Let me down in the comments below any other prompts or ideas that you guys have for utilizing this software. I would love to know your guys' overall thoughts. And of course, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Check out some of our other videos that we have on this channel about using chat GPT for your business. And hopefully you guys found some value here. I'll see you guys in the next video.